Fist bump. Good girl. Fist bump. Good girl. How's it going? Melbourne has recently entered a six week lockdown, which is really fun. Yeah, no. So basically in Melbourne, you're only allowed to leave your house for work, education, grocery shopping, or like emergency medical care. So it means that I have to stay at home, which means that I've been getting creative with what I'm going to do for my sewing projects. Now I've ordered a bunch of stuff online, but it didn't come in time. So I made a scrap fabric hot water bottle cover. I have my hot water bottle in here. It's currently full and it is so lovely. If you don't want to do a quilted version like mine, where you've got lots of different fabric kind of stuck together, then I will put in the description where you can skip to, where you can just see how you can kind of join the pieces together, cut out the shape and make your hot water bottle cover. I didn't have enough fabric to do a solid piece on the front. I kind of had to do it this way. Um, but that's all part of the fun of using our scrap fabric pile, isn't it? Finding out what we can make with what we've got. Anyway, uh, I've obviously finished again, like I did last week. But that's okay, because you can watch this very exciting process uh, from start to finish. The first thing you're going to want to do is trace out your hot water bottle. I added three and a half centimeters. That's two and a half centimeters wider than the bottle and then a one centimeter seam allowance. If you're anything like me, and this is more of a traditional quilting project than you really want to admit, you got to measure and cut out all your pieces for your main fabric and sew them together. Now I promise I'll show you how to do this properly later, but I've got no idea what I did with the footage. Anyway, we're going to make a quilt sandwich. You want to take your backing fabric and wadding and you want them about 5 centimeters wider and longer than your front piece. You're going to want to lay the backing down wrong side up, wadding over the top and then main fabric right side up on top of that. Make sure it's all flat as possible and then pin it like crazy. Safety pins will save you a whole lot of stab fingers later. Then stitch then ditches. Now you can get all fancy and use a free motion foot or you can do whatever pattern floats your goat. But I like squares and I like them being one and a half inches on each side. I know it's boring but you've got to do it so the wadding inside will fall apart or something. I don't know, ask a quilter enough, they'll explain it. Then take your template, fold the body of the bottle in quarters and mark out about one inch or two and a half centimetres either side of the halfway fold. If the overlap is too big you won't be able to get your hot water bottle in or out of the cosy. I cut two pieces of lining fabric, a little bit larger than the larger side of my back cover, and then added about one and a half centimetres at the bottom edge for a seam allowance. I did the same for the main fabric, and then I sewed them together to create two pieces. I took my two pieces with the fronts and backs sewn together and found some wadding that was larger in area than my main fabric. I ruled and cut one side of it to go against the seam of the two main fabric lining pieces and I want to say at this point I really didn't know if that was going to work but I got good results with a steady hand. I imagine a rotary cutter would be much better. Anyway, here's the footage which shows it better. I smoothed out each side of the fabric against the wadding as best I could before pinning it down. If you want to see how it's done by hardcore quilters, ask them. I'm sure this technique only works for small pieces and in fact when I did a large quilt I taped one layer to the floor to force it to stay flat. Also, I'm now going to show you the reason why you shouldn't leave your coffee on the floor. Oh no! Oh no! I sewed a one centimetre edge to add a bit of stability to the pocket pillowcase opening thing. I sewed a big X in the middle of the back piece and then redid the whole little square thing. But once again, you have to actually sew all this stuff together reasonably well if you want it to last. If you're joining this video again with some store-bought pre-quilted jersey, or you just really like skipping ahead, welcome to construction. Yeah, basically the whole thing before was just me making the fabric to make the hot water bottle cozy, and I promise it goes much quicker from here. Cut out all the shapes you have from each piece of fabric. Zigzag the edges. Pin on the bias tape. I prefer to use the homemade stuff, but I had this store-bought one laying around. You just need to be careful with the store-bought one because it has a high percentage of polyester and will melt and burn when ironed too hot. And sew it down. 
Then pin all the layers right sides together with the back pieces overlapping and sew with about a one centimeter border. First of all, I have no idea how to do a grand reveal with a hot water bottle. However, I gotta say, it's really, 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 really cozy. If I could do anything different, I would just change this top section up here. I would make my own 100% cotton bias tape so that way it can be ironed. It's not like a big deal. It's not like the bias tape gets all that crinkly when you wash it, but I'm the kind of person who just like runs over everything with the iron. And if I do it to this, I will melt it. Uh, and the other thing that I would personally like to do next time, if I make another one of these, is uh, make this come out on an angle. I mean, it doesn't really serve any purpose other than to look nice. But that being said, I would have to have this necky bit kind of at this width. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. It is a very short video by me. I know that it is not an item of clothing and I apologize, but I can't make a new item every two weeks because otherwise my wardrobe will pop. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell notification. If you absolutely hated it, just walk away calmly. Don't press anything. Just like exit the window. You'll be fine. Okay. Thank you.